Hello, my name is Brad Smith and I'm the designer for That Others May Live. Um, that Others May Live is a game published by Holland Spiel and it came out in August of 2023. And uh, today I'm just going to run through a playthrough of uh, one of the scenarios. Um, the scenario we're going to do is um, on page 8 of the rule book, it's Cage Tiger which is kind of a standard game scenario. It's not based on any historical scenario. It's just um, something that can get you, uh, that's quick to set up and play, get you going. Um, so in this scenario, um, we're going to go through really quickly, just set up and then get right into gameplay. Um, I'm not gonna explain too much. I think the rule book does a good job of that. Um, and as we go, I'll talk about and explain some of the game concepts. Um, so as you can see, uh, we've just got the map right now and we need to set up our, our game. Um, so the first thing we'll do is get our info markers out and, uh, we'll just get our turn marker onto one and the search marker goes onto zero. Yeah, we need the abort marker onto zero as well. Uh, this is a homemade vassal module that I made. Um, it's not very good, uh, but Holland Spiel is making a vassal module apparently, and I'm not sure when it's going to come out, but I'm sure it'll be much better than this. Um, so our turn search and abort markers are out. Uh, let's put our aircraft into the uh, orbit box. Um, so we're going to put, um, let's put our sandies in, one, two, three, and four. I'll just tidy this up a little bit. So the orbit box is kind of this notional area away from uh, the area of operations where aircraft can sort of circle and they wait for your orders uh, to go into the uh, into the hot zone and start doing things. <clears throat> so there's our helos six and seven, and our FAC. Our helos are five and six, and the FAC is seven. We've got a mig cap box here. This is only comes into play when you draw the mig um, the mig cap card action card and play it. Um, and if you have a fast mover available. Uh, we have four fast movers in our pool. So we just put those aside. Anywhere is okay. Just organize them nicely there. And uh, next we're gonna put our zone markers onto the map. So let's do that. There's uh, coordination. A village and down south another coordination west is target of opportunity and in the center we have heavy jungle um, and now we put our enemy markers face down in each zone each outer zone just draw them and place them and then the hidden markers go here one to the center zone and we need to place our survivor and our survivor is healthy um, and I think that's about it so all of our markers are set up and uh, now uh, we need to draw five cards from the action deck and um, as the scenario uh, setup indicates we select five action cards from the action deck no two cards can be of the same type uh, so let's pick five action cards so we'll take a uh, smoke CBU troll attack and I'll grab a suppress you have to be aircraft action cards not command cards okay I'll set up my hand here just below the reserve 
So there's our five cards. <coughs> Four cards, sorry. Need one more. Let's grab. Uh, let's grab an A bomb. There we go. Okay. Um, so that's it. We're all set up, and I think we're ready to go here. Um, let's get moving. Uh, so turn one starts, and I'm just going to pull up our player aid here so you can see where we are. And I'll put our phase marker down. So the fa usually um, you start off with an, an event phase, but we're going to skip that on turn one. Um, and then you go right to the card phase. Draw action cards. You're going to skip that because you've already got a handful of cards here at this point. Um, next segment is reserve action cards. And uh, I'll just reserve the CBU. And the rest I'll keep. I'll keep in my hand. Okay. And resolve command cards. We have no command cards, so we can skip that segment. Off to the combat phase. Uh, move aircraft. So move aircraft segment. So you can move any of your aircraft um, that are in the orbit box uh, to anywhere. Um, so or to according to the movement rules. Um, I'm going to move my Sandies into the um, <clears throat> into the west outer zone. So we'll just move one and two in there, and the rest are going to stay there. Um, and I think that's going to do it. So assign aircraft action cards. So I've got these guys in the outer zone. I'm going to assign a troll for fire to one and a suppress card to number two. Enemy gunfire. There's no there are no enemy guns out so this does not happen and play aircraft action cards okay so we play the troll for fire and it says flip it says flip an unrevealed enemy in the aircraft's current zone uh draw and place a new enemy uh in, in gun in the zone and immediately conduct enemy fire okay so um basically you're just going to flip over any enemy markers and it says zero so that means that there are no uh, enemy guns here uh, that are placed which is really good lucky for us next is the rescue segment uh, we can't do a rescue segment because our helos are not on the map and they're not in an area with the survivor so we go to the end turn phase bomb damage assessment uh, we haven't bombed anyone so we'll skip that Enemy search. Uh, currently, our enemy search is at zero, so we can skip that. Abort check. Our abort is at zero. We skip it. Deck cleanup. Okay, just grab the <coughs> grab the cards that are already on there and put them in the discard pile. And um, any cards in your hand that are not in the reserve also can go into the discard pile. The only cards that can stay with you from turn to turn are the ones that are in the reserve. Um, and then marker adjust. Uh, so what we do here, I'll just go through it here. So uh, remove all hit markers from the map. There's no hit markers. CS gas, uh, nope, there's none on the map. Suppressed, nope. Fired guns, nope. No fast movers. Um, so all we do then is we go straight down to um, 11. Uh, increase the enemy search marker and uh, move the turn marker ahead. So there we go. We're now on turn two. I'll just put these guys here. Okay. Uh, so now it's turn turn two. Um, so we go back up here to the event phase, and we are going to draw an event card now. So let's draw it. It says hydro hydraulics failure. Draw resolution. Draw resolution card and consult its aircraft number. If that aircraft is cool, flip it to shaken. If already shaken, this event has no effect. Okay, so we'll draw a resolution card. It's number five. So this helo is having problems. So it's on its shaken side now. 
and I'll just put the event card here. And I'll put the resolution card here. Great. So now we're back to draw action cards, and you're gonna draw a number of action cards so that the number of cards you've got um, in the reserve and in your hand it totals to five. So we've got one card here, uh, the CBU card in reserve, so we're, we can draw four action cards. So let's do that. One, two, <clears throat> two attack, three, and four. Okay, wow. So we've got three attack cards and a suppress card. Um, what to do? Uh, I think it's a good time to maybe uh, try sending in a helo and see what happens. Um, I really like this uh, west outer zone because there are no enemies in it. So hopefully that means that we'll be clear uh, and won't have many people shooting at us. So let's um, let's just keep all these guys. Uh, in our hand for now. Uh, we're not going to reserve anything. There are no command cards to resolve. So we go to the combat phase, uh, move aircraft, and um, I'm going to move... <coughs> I'll keep the he the helo number 5 in the orbit box so that it can recover. Uh, but helo number 6... And I'll take... Uh, I'll take our FAC and put it into the western zone. Um, and just for a little insurance, I'll move two into the center here. And uh, yeah, I think that's good. So uh, one thing to note is that I've just moved a helicopter into the western zone. And there's kind of a special helicopter movement rule so that when you move a helicopter into a zone, and I'll just scroll up here. So this is page uh, page four. When a helicopter moves into a zone, the enemy marker in the same zone is immediately revealed. Consult the number on the enemy marker, then draw the same number of units from the enemy guns cup and place them in the same zone. So um, our enemy marker is already revealed, so we don't Nothing really happens here. Uh, everything just kind of stays the same. So uh, we go down to assign aircraft cards. There are no, there's no, no reason to assign anything to anybody. There's no targets. Enemy gunfire, no enemy guns. Uh, so we skip, play aircraft cards. Nothing has been assigned. Uh, rescue, we can't rescue anyone because helos are not in the same zone as a survivor. And turn phase, bomb damage assessment, again, skip it. Enemy search, we do do that. Enemy search is currently on one. So that means we have to draw the same number of cards for a search. And if we draw a rifle card, our survivor is captured. So let's draw a card. And luckily it's not a rifle icon and our survivor is okay. So down to abort and we skip that. That cleanup. All of these guys go straight into the discard pile. <clears throat> and that's it. We go ahead to turn three. Search marker goes up to two. And then over to the event phase. So turn three. VNF Sky Raiders. Choose one enemy gun on the map and flip it to suppressed. Well, there are no enemy guns on the map, so that's that. Draw action cards. Okay, we're going to draw four. One, two, three, four. Mark target, troll for fire, attack, and napalm. Okay. Um... I think I'm going to keep things like keep things that way for now. Reserve action cards. I'm not going to reserve anything. Resolve command. There's no command cards. To the combat phase. Move aircraft. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to do uh, last turn in the marker adjust. I had a shaken aircraft in the orbit box. 
um, at the end of the turn, if you've got a shaken aircraft in there, uh, you flip it back to its cool side. Uh, anyway, um, so I've done that now. Uh, anyway, we're into move aircraft, and um, let's see. I will keep Sandy 2 in the center. Uh, Sandy 1, I'll move into the center from west. I'll move our helo from west to center. <coughs> and um, I'll also pull helo 5 and two sandies from the orbit box into the west. So we moved a lot of aircraft. Um, okay, uh, one thing I'd like to do is check out uh, what's going on in this west zone because if there's no enemy guns here, you can see it um, when I roll over. <coughs> if there are no enemy guns there, then that's a very good way to egress after we pick up our survivor. Um, so I'm going to play a troll and we'll assign it to our FAC. Um, and I think everybody else, oh, I'll, I'll play a napalm in here to get the search marker down. So I'll assign that to number two. So I'll probably use these cards and uh, let's go ahead and resolve these cards. We can resolve them in any order that we want here. Um, so um, let's go. Uh, let's start with a napalm. And uh, basically the napalm can be used one of two ways. You can score hits on an enemy gun or you can play it in the same zone as a survivor and move the search marker back two spaces. So we're going to do that. Bring the search marker back down to zero. And next we'll play the troll for fire card and flip an unrevealed enemy or hidden. Uh, so we're going to do that here. Flip it over. And here it has a one on it. So we're going to draw one enemy gun here from our cup and place it. And it's a 2-1. All right, so we've trolled for fire. And it says immediately conduct enemy fire with the newly placed gun. So we've got this gun here in the western zone with a firepower of 2 in its own zone and 1 in all adjacent zones. Um, the guns fire according to priority. So um, in this case, um, it's going to fire at any targets in its own zone first. And since we've got uh, three of our aircraft, or four aircraft sitting in the zone, that's where it's going to fire. So we're going to go through the enemy gunfire resolution here. And uh, you could just check out um, page five here if you want. Um, so we've already determined the target zone. It's going to fire into its own zone as the first priority. And then determine zone firepower. Uh, you're going to check how much collective firepower is going into that one zone. So we've only got the one gun there and the firepower value is two. Uh, so that means it's two zone firepower. And then we're gonna resolve hits. We draw a number of resolution cards equal to the zone fire value. Um, which is two. Uh, so here we go. We're going to draw one, no hits, and two. All right, so um, enemy guns need a crosshair to hit. Uh, since we drew a rifle and a roundel, um, the gun does not hit. So that's a great thing for us. Uh, so this is fired. We can just rotate it to show it's fired. And... Uh, rescue, we can't do a rescue 
Uh, we do have a helicopter in the same zone as a survivor, but the helicopter has just moved. Uh, so you can't move a helicopter and do a rescue in the same turn. Uh, so that's going to have to wait till next turn. So we'll go to the end turn phase. <coughs> no bomb damage assessment. Enemy search is at zero, so we're clear. Abort is at zero, and deck cleanup. So let's get these cards back into the discard pile. And this napalm here, it says remove card once played, so it's removed from the game. We we'll just, we'll just delete it. There we go. Um, and then we go to marker adjust. Um, we'll flip back our fired enemy gun and search marker goes up and turn marker goes to four and we'll take these unused cards and put them into the discard pile great turn four here we go back to the event phase reinforcements randomly select an outer zone draw and place an enemy gun in that zone it should be enemy gun um, so how do you randomly select an outer zone? Um, just use the randomization rules here. And that's uh, here on page two, uh, drawing for random determination. <coughs> so in this case, you just you basically just use the card number at the bottom right of each card uh, in the resolution deck. Um, so for example, I need to determine an outer zone. I've got four outer zones. Uh, what I usually do is, um, before I draw, I decide, okay, if north and south is going to, uh, if it's going to be north or south, it'll be even. If it's west or east, it'll be an odd number. Um, so I draw, and it's, what is it, a three, so it's odd. Um, so that means it's going to be west-east, one of those. Um, and I'll say if it's even, it's west. If it's um, odd, it's east. So again, it's even, it's west. So we draw a gun and put it in here. And let's put this here. Oh, my wild card. Okay. So now that western zone is looking really bad, really dangerous. <coughs> anyway. Um, we go to the draw action cards and we're gonna draw four. Let's put this here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Got a troll, smoke, napalm, and CBU. Okay, those could all be helpful. <coughs> mm. Sorry, I'm just getting over a cold here, so. Reserve action cards. I'm not going to reserve anything. I want to keep things loose because I'm going to conduct a rescue this turn. Resolve command. We don't still don't have any command cards yet. I'm kind of surprised. Um, it's pretty rare to not have a command card yet. Combat phase. Um, move aircraft. Um, I'm going to move. I'm just going to move my helicopter five into the center zone here. So now I have four aircraft here. And one important thing to note is that each zone can only hold a maximum of four aircraft. Um, and assign aircraft cards. Um, I'd like to get rid of this, at least one of these guns in the Western zone. Um, so what I'll do is I'll use my CBU here and uh, I'll put that there. Oops, that's an FAC that can't drop it. Four. Um, um, so I've got my aircraft sorted out here and um, I'm gonna do enemy gunfire. Um, Okay, so uh, again, we've got these two guns in the west. Um, and now we need to look at the priority again. Um, 
it's gonna f these guns in the west are gonna fire at guns in their own at aircraft in their own zone so that means the four three and seven are targets um so we need to determine zone firepower and uh, let's just go down here and i'll show you how to do that um so you're going to total uh the um, the number of guns firing so or the amount of firepower we've got two here and any that's you look for the gun with the highest firepower rating that's firing into that zone and then for every other gun that's firing into that zone regardless of the firepower rating of those other guns you just add one um, so in this case we got two and then we add one for the zpu down here um, or the dshk sorry um, so it's going to be a total firepower of three going into that zone uh, so let's draw for hits uh, so uh, resolution guard one two oh there's a crosshair and three so we've got three crosshairs and we can bring those down to one crosshair by discarding cards so um, we'll discard the smoke marker and we'll discard the troll and that brings us down to one crosshair so we've burned two cards here and now we've got only one hit to worry about uh, so where does that hit get assigned let's find out so we draw resolution cards and check here um, it's the three so the three gets the sandy here three gets flipped over to its uh, shaken side and um, now we've res we've resolved that, so we'll just rotate these, <laughs> and then uh, now we can play our aircraft card. Our CBU gets dropped, and we can just remove the gun. It's eliminated. Don't move it back to the cup, and the CBU is going to get removed from the game. But we'll do that later. Uh, next is the rescue phase, and we can conduct a rescue. Um, and uh, once we declare a rescue, what happens is, and I'm just going to take you to the rules here. Um, once you announce a rescue attempt, reveal all enemy hidden markers in the current and adjacent zone. Okay, so we'll start by flipping over this. Oh boy, we've got two guns here and zero zero oh north was good and east one gun and okay down here this one plus means that we have to draw another enemy um marker and add it to uh to the number on the reverse side so here it's going to be two so we got to play this, these new guns. Uh, you could just draw in any order you want. There's no rules here. So two in the center, uh, one east, and two south. Let's put it here. Just put these guns anywhere you can see them. OK. <coughs> so now um, these guns are going to fire. So we need to figure out who they're firing at and where. Um, so guns are going to fire. Um, there's two priorities for guns. Um, and I should have gone over this earlier. But anyway, um, they'll always f attempt to fire at targets in their own zone as a first priority. If a gun has no targets in its own zone uh, and it has the range to fire at another zone with aircraft, then it will attempt to fire at the zone with the most aircraft, um, which should be the center zone here, which has four aircraft. Um, so uh, we've got, um, in the center, we've got these two guns. And in the south, we've got one gun that can fire into the center zone. Um, so that's going to be three guns here. So we look for the gun with the most firepower that's firing into that zone. Uh, we've got, <coughs> in the south here, we've got one, and the center one, and in, another one. So it's going to be three total 
zone firepower going into the center here. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to need to draw three cards. So hopefully, hopefully we're OK. Let's draw one, two. Oh, there's a crosshair. And three. So three crosshairs. Uh, and again, I'm going to burn two cards here to get those number of crosshairs down to one. So we've got one hit here. And we've got to figure out which gets hit. Uh, let's see, that's helicopter five. So that gets moved to its shaken. <coughs> and, and now we can start our rescue. And for the rescue rules, um, if we go down here. Um, to resolve a rescue, draw resolution cards equal to the number of friendly aircraft counters on their cool side in the same zone as the rescue attempt. Uh, subtract one uh, for each of the following. The helicopter performing the rescue is on its shaken side, survivors injured, CS gas, or smoke. Um, so in this case, <clears throat> we'll say helicopter six is performing the rescue. Um, so that's fine. And so that's a total of uh, three cool aircraft in this zone. That gives us three draws. Um, so let's do that. Let's see if we can pick up our survivor. We draw three resolution cards and we're hoping for a roundel. One, two, there it is, three, great. Hey, we did it. So we just move the survivor onto the helicopter to show that he's aboard. And uh, since we don't have um, a survivor on the map, you could just move the search marker back to zero automatically uh, once he's aboard. And uh, our rescue segment is over. And now to the end turn phase, bomb damage, none. Enemy search, it's down to zero, so it doesn't matter. Abort, zero, desk cleanup, deck cleanup rather. <coughs> Eliminate the CBU from the game. And. Uh, just tidy up our discards here. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's it. Marker adjust. We'll flip this back. Um, and I think that's it. Okay. Um, search marker goes. Or search marker stays at zero. Turn marker goes up to five. And here we go, back to the next turn. Event phase. All village zone markers are removed. For the rest of the game, ordnance cards may be played in these zones. Okay, so we've got this one. I don't think it's going to matter, but I'll take that out. And now we move to draw action cards. And we could draw five this time. One. There's our command core cards. Three, four, and five. Oops, I'll just juggle these around a bit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, reserve, I don't want to reserve anything. Resolve the command cards. Um, there's nothing here I want to resolve. Um, I can't use any of these right now because my survivor's on board. Everything looks fine. Um, so we're going to discard our command, not using them, remove all those, and off to move aircraft, and I want to get out of here, um, I guess the most logical thing to do is just move these guys north. And uh, these aircraft uh, in the west, I'm just going to um, move them into the orbit box and hope for the best. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Assign aircraft to action cards. I'm not going to assign anything. I just want these guys to get out of there. Enemy gunfire. Okay, the, there is going to be some fire here. So we've got 
this gun in the center with two firepower that can reach north. Um, so that's going to be two zone firepower. And we're going to draw two resolution cards to check for hits. So one, two, no hits. That's nice. <coughs> oh, and we've got this plus one FP. Sorry, we've got to draw one more. No, that's, so it's a roundel. It's okay. Um, so uh, we go through that to right through to deck cleanup. Marker adjust. Um, that. Rotate this back. Everything's looking pretty good. Next turn, event phase. Oh, sorry, discard these. High winds. Uh, just remove all CS and smoke markers. There's none on there. So I'll move that aside. Draw our action cards. Maybe five. One. And five. And I don't want to resolve any of these. I don't need them. I just want to get out of here. Uh, I'm not going to reserve any. I'm just going to move my aircraft. And we move these guys into the orbit box. And that's it. Game is over. And we've rescued our survivor. Um, so there is one game of That Others May Live. Um, as you could see, uh, that was pretty close. Um, things could have gone really bad if I if I hadn't had such lucky draws for the uh, enemy guns uh, firing at our aircraft. Then there could have been a lot of a lot of trouble there. Um, it was one of those games where you can, you know. It can go 50-50, you know, you might pull off a, a really easy rescue like this where everything kind of goes off without a hitch. Um, and then you, you have those games where everything looks like it's going well and then one th bad thing happens and you get a couple of bad draws and suddenly you're really in the weeds and you're, you're working your way out. Um, but I wanted players to have that real variety of of experience where you know you have maybe one good mission or two or three good missions and then one disaster or one where you are constantly pulling your hair out uh, working against uh, the guns and, and trying to work everything out. Uh, I wish I'd had more command cards here so I could have shown you how fast movers work. I'll do that in another video um, but uh, for now I think that should give you a general idea of how the game works. Um, thanks a lot. Have a good day.